I'm using the new shampoo photo commander 15 uh, which is a fully featured photo editor and I found a few features that I really think are, are very interesting which are highlights for me so what I'm going to do is this in the corner here which is uh, a cow in a field and this here is just a field by where I live so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that cow into there um, <clears throat> There's quite a few of these type of programs where you cut out uh, whatever object you want and then you put a background, say for example, places that you haven't been and you, you put yourself there and all that. And there's quite a lot of programs like that, things like InPaint and that. But um, the shampoo has got their own idea on this one. Um, but the other previous versions I've had, although I might be wrong, the don't have a... Um, they don't have this cut out thing uh, so anyway on here it's got cut out object this is just out on the uh, on the crop select cut out object or person exchange background okay so this is very easy um, and as long as you get more or less somewhere for example you don't have to be like a lasso or till where it's absolutely You've got to be really accurate with it and that. You've got to go on things okay uh, as long as you get them within a certain um, respectable way it should work fine. So I'm not going down every curve of the cow if you like but I'm just going and doing the main things. I think the other version of uh, InPaint is, is probably about as near as I'd imagine um, our photos, this is what InPaint firm do, is, is good as well. But this one, uh, I found it's, it's really interesting. So here at the top there, it's got a exchange background and finish. And I'm going to exchange it with this, BG background. And it could take uh, a few minutes to work this. Um, so it's more or less a waiting game where it does it itself. And there you are. So this is uh, it's a pretty good uh, match really. Um, but of course like uh, it's anything you want. Uh, I've got a one here with uh, butterflies just down there as you can see which is in the field. I just cut out the butterfly from another picture and put it in this background. So it's just really messing around people anything that you can do so here we have um some edge right at the i don't know if you can see that there but at the edge there it's not quite right but it's easy fixed i'm just demonstrating basically what this thing can do and if you just put there and all you would really need to do with that is is just you go for quick fixes and you just clone uh, the grass and things like that and that's it is it's very easy to do it does look a bit false on there but it's just a demonstration uh, so I hope that uh, that's beneficial for you um, the other thing that I really like about this program uh, as I said this it's got a ton of features in this thing um, stuff I don't even know anyway I just got this picture from the uh, the net and it's Marilyn and the the interesting thing about this it's a very old photo um, of course but what, what's really horrible about it is all these lines it's a scratched photograph um, when you see you know you, you've probably got family photos from the 50s 60s black and white things uh, I know my parents uh, used to have uh, a lot of these things uh, some still exist now but these programs are really very interesting to you, you get programs where they're just basically for repair and photographs anyway I did this where I've taken out the scratches or as best as I can and I've got this one here on the left so you can see that there's a marked difference in that I mean that's uh, that's not bad I only only took about six seven minutes on this but anyway how you do that is you just uh, remove remove uh, scratches and objects and it's basically just with uh, this here and a bit more 
and what else you do as well when you a bit like the uh, other uh, thing I showed you when you've done this you can also go back to um, to the clone tool and the clone tool really can like finish this off as the clone tool is not working too well because I've got uh, the video running and it doesn't really doesn't really like that but anyway back to the uh, repair thing and you can go um, you know doing all these bits and pieces trying to remove all the scratch things out and again you would use your uh, clone tool to to get these out and make it more of a, a professional job if you like um, but anyway this I mean you take I would say between five and ten minutes um, I got I got it to there so which is I mean it is a that photograph is, is absolutely shot really but it's uh, this is not too bad what I did and then within under 10 minutes that's pretty good so anyway these are just a few highlights that I've, uh, I've found in this new version or new version uh, to me I don't know whether Photo Commander had these uh, features on uh, 14 and that because I didn't use it but uh, yeah so I hope you've enjoyed that and again a shampoo if you do a trial version they always knock a lot of money off for you so it's uh, even with just them two things uh, if you get other programs I mean it can cost uh, 12 13 pounds for just one feature so once again thanks for watching thanks for listening